Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2023 BMW X1. It is all new for this year. Now, our test vehicle is an X Drive and a 28i, but you can instantly see this vehicle is bolder, brighter, very modern inside, and a lot of improvements literally all the way around. We'll start off with this color. This is San Remo Green. Spectacular. It's almost like a hunter green. But they have the widest array of colors now, and that's something you're going to get to see. You get to pick the color you want rather than being forced to black, white, red, silver, you know, the typical colors. So going around to the front, you're going to see these are LED headlights. These are very bright, but they're also designed so they don't blind oncoming traffic, and I think that's really important. Below this classic BMW logo is the new grill. And I have to say, I'm usually not a fan of the gigantic grill, but in this case, it fits in really nicely and well designed. Further down, you've got this silver trim piece, and it goes back here as well for those driving lights. Really a nice looking vehicle. I was pretty impressed myself. Coming around to the side, you're gonna see a very modern look, very flat, but you're also gonna get this black detail. So they've done a nice job changing the different effects for your eye, because you see this body line that carries all the way down here, and of course your standard belt line, but they've done some really nice pieces to make it more modern. For example, the matte silver side mirrors. Then you've got a brushed silver roof rack. And of course, you've got the chrome trim. So they've done a nice job making it very modern and very clean. There are a bunch of different wheel choices. Our test vehicle rides on 19 inch alloy wheels on all season Continentals. They go all the way up to a 20 inch alloy wheel. Again, you can also go into that M package, which is gonna change a lot of the performance characteristics as well as the price. Coming around to the back, there is a new upper spoiler with an integrated third brake light. The wiper blade is here. And again, that same type of flatter look that's more modern. I do like that the logo is here, LED taillights, your X1, and this is the X drive, meaning all wheel drive and the 28i, which is the trim level. They did a nice job, again, carrying that aluminum trim on the rear valence as well. Pretty nice and clean, very modern. Let's take a look at the Mocha interior of this vehicle. It's perforated and it's really a nice balance of modern design. As far as visibility though, I'm thinking that's good. Seating comfort is excellent. There is no lumbar support on this, but the seats are a sport seat and they're really surprisingly really comfortable good side bolstering nice materials uh, they're a leather in this case it's brown obviously it's different colors but i have to say this is nice heated seats ventilated seats heated steering wheel and that is located here in the climate menu and when you press that you've got three stages of heating of ventilation and i really did a nice job i love this screen super easy to get to rather than some where you have to go through three stages just to get to the simple climate control it's right there looking at this mocha leather interior is very very pretty but unfortunately there is no lumbar on the driver's side but the seats are very supportive nice soft materials and they're perforated and they're heated and optional vented passenger side also does not have lumbar but again that mocha leather but one thing to note is the seat belts are not adjustable height which has become pretty much a standard of course, if that's important to you, then you'll have to see if these beautiful seats are comfortable for you as well. In the second row, there is two latch systems for child safety seats. And that's important to note. There are three headrests that fold flat in case nobody's sitting there. And the center console has cup holders. This vehicle seats five people. Behind the driver's side and passenger side is netting for items two vents, and two USB-C charge ports, and some additional open storage. In the doors, there's Harman Kardon audio. I do like those grills, really nice. And the pattern, the material of the aluminum is really, really nice. It's modern, it's clean, and I do like that mocha and black mix, as well as the additional storage, which is a really nice feature to add for the second row. Inside the X1 is some new technology. The steering wheel is pretty easy to understand all of your normal controls, and as well as your stocks. No paddle shifters, which I don't believe are needed anyhow. The interior is really nice. Soft materials and stitching. Everything's very clean, gloss black and aluminum everywhere. Easy to use controls and very understandable. On the door, you have your Harman Kardon audio system as well as two memory seat settings. 
to go along with your heated and air-cooled seats, normal light controls. Going over to the center screen, I think they did a nice job. It's all smooth all the way across. This is for your climate control. And if you want to go to that climate menu, your controls are really nice. You've got three-stage heated steering wheel, three-stage heated seats, and that's also the same for the passenger. There's your climate control adjustments, your max AC and so forth are right there. Your center screen's got some really easy to read and choices here. You've got this if you want to go into media, what your different apps are. Lots of apps, personal assistance, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, seat comfort, everything is right here. You can even see the vehicle live, get some information on what's going on. All of that is right there. Just press that button and you can pick and choose the information you want, AM radio, Wi-Fi connections, and so forth. Set that vehicle up the way you would like. Going back to the home screen, you have your map. This is your audio system, of course, the Harman Kardon audio. Telephone connect, your personal assistant, which is really nice. Traffic en route. This is your information about the vehicle. And again, you can remove or add widgets as you wish. Your route preferences, and you can even have a different style of clock. Audio system. Pick your stations, what you want. Audio sources are either your presets, of course, AM, FM, what's, what is expected. Telephone settings, navigation, really nice, crystal clear, easy to use. I'm really liking that. Uh, everything's super easy, super simple to use. They did a really nice job. And this is all part of the technology package. And the heated steering wheel and the seats are an additional $500. Below that 10.25 inch center screen, you've got your climate vents right there and wireless charging. Now I have this in the sport mode so you can see that there's red around. That color changes based on the mode or the personality that you would like. Your drive modes are right here. This is your my modes to the left of the Prindle. And this is different. So you get your start, stop, your cameras here and reverse neutral drive low and that's your park button, auto hold. This adjusts the height of the vehicle. If you're going off-road, you press that button. You get your driver assistance here for your safety features for hill descent, lane departure, all that. You can go right into there and choose the settings that you want. Your iconic sounds and your off-road driving chassis information. Hit that My Modes button to the next side and you've got personal, sport, efficient, expressive, and digital art. When you press that, it changes the colors isn't that cool? So if you change that, you want to go back to the My Mode designs, it'll change the color based on what you want. Just nice, nice little features, nice little touches, making it personalized for each individual. When you put your phone on the wireless charger, when you accelerate, the phone comes off of the charger. So they have this little bar, you push it up against the phone, and that way it doesn't move while it's being charged. An interesting touch, if someone wants to figure that out, it'd be nice if you could have had two phones there, but you know, that's okay. Part of the technology package is a head-up display and video, augmented reality technology, and that is part of the convenience package of $1,950. There's additional charging behind these cup holders, behind that wireless charging, and there's also a regular outlet here for your radar detector. Below that, you've got additional storage. Now to get into that glove box, you push this down and it's about enough for a pair of sunglasses and some stuff, pens, paper, etc. maybe some toll slips. And there's your volume right here and your four ways. Not much, but enough of the information and stuff you need right here. Very clean, very modern. I do like the new design. I think they did a really fabulous job on all the materials, the quality of the materials, all leather, real stitching really nicely done. I do like the color combination of the brown and the black. Very, very classy. The one thing that's important when it comes to safety on the BMW X1 is it is standard. Every vehicle comes with all the safety features you're going to want. Forward collision warning, backup cameras, a round view camera. They've thought a lot about who's using this vehicle. When you put on the cruise control only or the smart cruise control, you can go right in and set what you need. Again, this will do that stop and go traffic all the way down to zero. Under the hood of our test vehicle is a two liter twin turbocharged inline four cylinder engine with 241 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque. Backed by a seven speed dual clutch transmission, all wheel drive is standard, fuel economy 25 miles to the gallon in the city, 
34 on the highway. It rides on 18 inch or 20 inch alloy wheels depending upon which package you purchase. Curb weight, 3,750 pounds. So no matter what the weather is, it's really important to have good visibility. And in this case, we've got rain. So 80% of your driving decisions are based on visibility. Now the X1 is all new and redesigned for 2023. Nice piece of glass, really good visibility, low sills and good sized pieces of glass. Looking out the back, you've got good visibility. Of course, those backup cameras make a huge difference. As far as performance, this is a two liter twin turbo with 241 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque, which is an improvement over the previous generation. But what you notice right away is it has really good get up and go, whether it be mid range or just off the line. Our test vehicle of the sport activity vehicle is they call it an SAV, which is BMW's version of the sport utility vehicle. And this vehicle is an X drive, which means it's all wheel drive. The model level is a 28i. But the first thing you notice is you open the door, you get in this vehicle and you're like, ooh, huge improvement over the previous generation. But I'm really liking the braking, the handling. Of course, you can buy the M package, which will be larger brakes, larger wheels, better suspension, but you're looking at about $3,000. The cost of the M package for the X1 is $2,300. I like how this thing handles. Woo, nice, just get around things. There are different modes, but they're not drive modes. It's called my modes. And in the center console next to the shifter, which is all new design and very, very cool, is the my modes button. And when you press that button, you can make it go into a sport mode, which will give you a different personality. It's a dynamic setting for pure driving pleasure. That's good, of course. Got to remember it is wet outside and it is also colder here. So we're going to drop that back down to something a little smarter. You've got an efficient mode here, changes everything, efficient driving. So it is a, it is a drive mode, but it's all like preset for you. I do like the beefy steering wheel, by the way. I think it's really nicely done. BMW has always been about being a driving machine, even though this is a sport activity vehicle or an SUV, it still has very precise handling. One thing the Germans have always got down, handling, tight, precise, specific, big brakes. And once you drive a German car, it's hard to drive something else because they want to be German cars. This is the benchmark. BMW and Audi are the benchmark in this class, pretty much a benchmark in the industry when it comes to having a vehicle that you say handles well or performs well. This is what every brand is looking at. So that's important to note. When it comes to cargo space, there's enough that all these groceries actually fell over on me. 25.7 cubic feet of storage behind the second row. Fold down that second row seating and you're at 57.2 cubic feet of storage. One of the things that's important to know is that the warranty is four years or 50,000 miles, which does help with the value of the BMW. It'll also help with those leasing numbers. Now, when you're looking at the cost of this vehicle, it starts at about $38,000. Our test vehicle came in at 48. Again, it's a lot of options. And many of the German cars, you start off at a low base price and you got to add all the goodies that you really want and that you really need. And it just gets a little bit more expensive. However, $48,000 puts this right in the sweet spot of all the vehicles that are in this midsize or compact, depending on what you're looking at, SUV marketplace or crossover. They call it a sport activity vehicle. Don't forget that. It's also running for World Car of the Year, and it has a really good chance. Now, let's look at the pros and cons. Pros, like the new performance, love the new look and the color choices. There's super impressive interior materials. I like the center screen. It's a lot easier to use than before. The only negatives I had is that I thought the processor was a bit slow at times when it was changing from one app to another. But again, once it's there, typically you don't change it. And sadly, there's no adjustable height seat belts in the front, which I thought was kind of unusual. Is that important? Well, that depends how you fit in the seat. And that's also important as well. Now, I didn't answer every single question you might have on the BMW X1. And there is a lot of options, a lot of features. We did not cover every single question you might have, including is there a windstorm going on? Yes, we've had a windstorm for the last week here. But if you got questions, put them in the comments down below. I'm more than happy to get you an answer. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and share. We've reviewed all the competitors. Look at our competitor list is down in the description, as well as how you can support us. You can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is down below, as well as websites, social media, podcasts, and the book. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.